Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Most Graphics here. And today I'm going to be showing you how to design the social media flyer for a real estate agency. So without further ado guys, let's get started and let's start designing. So guys, as you can see, my Photoshop is open right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to create new. And then for my size, I'm using a 2000 by 2000 pixel size, a trailer resolution and an RGB color mode. And the reason why I'm using this size is that this design is going to be placed on social media or it's going to be posted on a social media platform. So I've always said that whenever you're designing a social media flyer, you should always stick to a square dimension. That's actually 2000 by 2000 pixels or 1080 by 1080 pixels. So with all that selected, I head over to create. And the first thing first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding the first element that I'm using for this design right here. So let me head over to file, place embedded, and then I'll be placing this image of this land right here. Okay, so let me just reduce this a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to drag it down. And then for the effect I'm trying to achieve um, on this fly is that I'm trying to make a house to actually be on top of this piece of land. So I'm just going to be placing the duplex, the image of the duplex on top of this um, piece of land. So let me just do that quickly. Okay. So let me just reduce this using my transform controls. And then I'm going to zoom into uh, this image right here. And then what I want to do is I want to um, use my pen tool to remove this extra land that you can see on the image. So to do this, I'll head over to my pen tool or I'll just hit P on my keyboard. And then, okay, let me zoom in first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my pen tool and I'm just going to slowly make a selection of this extra area. Okay, so I'm done with this. So let me just zoom out and then head over to my pen tool once again and then finish this up. So once I have this selected with my pen tool, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and I'll head over to make selection. And um, as you can see, for this selection, I'll be using a feather radius of five pixels. So actually smoothing the edges of this house to make um, the effect that we are trying to drive at more realistic. So let me just use five and then I'll hit OK. And then making sure that I'm actually at the house layer. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to rasterize this. And I'm just going to hit delete. And then I'll deselect this. And then all I need to do is just to drag this down a little bit so I can actually see 12 on the piece of land. Okay. So once I'm done with that, then I think I'll actually zoom out. Okay. Okay, so we have this looking um, very good. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually clean off um, this part that is actually um, showing this uh, concrete driveway. So to work on that, I'm going to head over to my pen tool once again and I'm going to just make a random rough selection of this. Just, okay. Try my best to play around with this. Make selection and steal the five pixels further reduce. And then I'm going to delete this. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out once again. And then I'm going to just drag it down for just once more. Okay. And then um, I think this is okay. And then I'm going to use my eraser tool to clear 
out this excess fat right here just slowly okay okay so let's zoom out and check it out and i think it's actually okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to actually add some trees to this house to add some beauty to this so let's just do that quickly So we have this right here, and I'm going to be using my object selection tool to actually make a selection of just this tree. Okay, just drag this over the object that I want to select. And once that selection is made, I'll just hit Control J to make a duplicate of it. And then I I won't be needing this layer, so let me just delete it. And then we just have this tree right here. But I'm going to do one more thing to actually feather the edges of this tree. So it doesn't look too, um, too sharp at the edges. So let me just um, do this. And um, I'm going to head, to head over to select, modify, and then feather. And then for my feather is I'll still be using the one I used for the building, which is five. Okay, I'm just going to delete this. Then what I want to do is I want to take um, one of these to the back of the house, just at this point, just add some effect to it, and then I'm going to take the remaining one to the front. Okay, let me just zoom out. So I'm going to make this like um, a small tree actually, just planted, um, planted in the front. So, because if I want to make this look like a flower, I don't think I'll be needing um, I'll be needing this extra stalk at the bottom because I notice that it's not looking that realistic. So let me just clear this bottom part. Okay. okay. So let me zoom in to see how that looks. I think let me just duplicate this once again. Okay. And then I'll. Select these two layers and then merge them together by hitting Ctrl E. And then I'm going to move this flower or tree to the top a little bit. And let me just use my eraser to just um, feather the edges at this point a little bit. Okay, so I think that's it for now. Okay, so once I'm done with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, merge all these layers together. Okay, so let me actually group this and then I'll name this um, house on land. Okay, so let me just name this house on land. I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'll convert it to a smart object. And then I'll hide the second layer. And then this house on land layer and this background layer, I'm going to select both of them. And then I'll convert both of them to a smart object. So we really have this um, awesome looking image right here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding some sky effect to this image and to actually do this on the tab versions of photoshop you can actually do this easily by heading over to edit and heading over to sky replacement okay so we have this um, awesome sky effect right here and i really really love this feature in photoshop because you can, need to, you can use it to add um fascinating skies and beautiful effects to your images and there are different templates to choose from so whatever you feel like using or whatever you feel like um, um, adopting for your designs is actually up to you but for me i'll be using this because it doesn't look too um it doesn't look too rough and it doesn't look too um unrealistic so i'll be using this and i'll be hitting okay 
So, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to um, create a new layer above this sky replacement group. And um, quick note, guys, this sky replacement um, effect is actually only on latest versions of Photoshop. I think from 2021 down to 2023. So, if you are using um, 2020 or 2019 and earlier versions, you might not actually be able to see this effect on your Photoshop. But I'm going to be actually dropping this sky image on on the folder that will be housing all my design files so i can actually head over there and download it for your project in case if your photoshop can't access this feature so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick my brush tool and um, i'm just going to select the color make the color to be white and i'm just going to be scrubbing over the lower parts of this design okay don't worry about this at this point Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this below the sky replacement group layer. And then I'm going to head over to this smart object, this house on land, copy, smart object. And what I want to do is I want to head back to the smart object folder. And then I want to hide this background layer. Please take note of this. I want to hide this background layer. The reason why I actually grouped this background layer to the smart object is that Without this background layer, it wouldn't have been able to create the sky replacement effect. So that's why I actually added it. So once that effect is done, I can actually head back to my smart object contents and hide this background layer. And once I'm done with this, I'm going to hit Ctrl S to save. And then I'll head back to my original design window. So let me just close this. And as you can see, we have this right here. And I'm now going to take this below. And... Um, then I'm going to delete this. Uh, I'm going to delete this layer mask. Okay. So what you need to just do is just um, remove the two, the two um, layer marks, and then adjust this accordingly. And then I'll take this to the top. Okay. Okay. Quick reminder, guys. All the files that I'm using for this project can be found in the description. So I'll be dropping a link that will actually lead you to my Google Drive where you can actually download all the files that I've used for this project, including the image of the sky. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be adding the logo of the company. So let me reduce this. And for my color, I'll be using white. Let's head back to blending options. Color overlay. Okay. okay. So let me just hit Ctrl T. I'm going to be typing in the test for the website of this real estate agency. Okay. So let me select all this test and uh, I'll head over to the character customization panel. And then what I want to do is I want to change this from all caps to sentence case. Okay, and then I'm going to reduce this. Then for my typeface, I'll be using um, medium. And then uh, let me reduce this. So let me zoom out. Then need to group these two together. And 
then I'm going to look, remove this from my design and uh, I'm going to take this down. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be doing, guys, I'm going to be adding the write up for this um, design. And um, I wanted to make like the design um, a more of like a question and answer, whereby the company Royal Gardens Realty is trying to ask you, did you know that, um, did you know that um, Royal Gardens Realty is the best um, real estate company out there? So let me just. Uh, Incorporate that into the design. So let me just type in the first test. Okay. Okay. So let me uh, work on my lady, and uh, for my lady, I'll be using a um, thirty. Then, um, okay. So let me just um, make sure these are aligned to the middle. And then I'm going to expand this a little bit, just a little bit. And then I'm going to drag it down. Okay. So let me adjust the leading because I don't want all this extra space right here. So for the leading, I'm going to be using 34. Okay, so I think this is quite okay. So then make sure it's aligned once again. So the font I'm actually using for this write-up is Integra. And remember that this font, the images, the sky um, background effects like I mentioned will be found on the file um, link on the description. So I'm going to be leaving a link where you guys can go and get all the files that I use for this project. So now that I'm done with this uh, first test, I'm going to be giving an answer to this question. Like I said, did you know that Royal Gardens Realty is the best real estate platform out there? So let me just get on with that. So but before we do that, I think um, let's actually increase this um, image a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. And then take it down. And then um, what I want to do is I just want to add that test on that here. So for the first I'll be using for this, I'll be using poppins and I'll be uh, making use of uh, medium for my typeface. So let me just adjust this test. I'll change the tracking to minus 75 and then I'll adjust my leading to um, 30. Okay, I think I need to adjust that to something much more than that. Okay. I think I'm okay with 36. So let me just go. Okay. Okay. And so what I want to do is I want to make sure these are aligned as usual. Okay. And then um, I'm going to reduce this. And then I'm going to take it to the top here. So let's zoom in. Okay. Just raise a little bit that. Okay. Okay, let me just adjust. Okay, so for their name, I'll be using both to actually show much importance and emphasis on the name so let me just change the typeface to bold and then um, i'm just going to 
reduce it further. Okay, I just hope it's visible enough. But I think um, I'll be going with this. Okay. Okay, I actually think I need to break down this test so that I can actually increase it. So it will be much clearer. Okay, okay so I think this is okay. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm okay with this. And um, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding their Instagram handle right at the lower left part of this design. So don't know if we type in that out. So first of all, let me change the color to black. So I'll be changing the front to poppins. And um, for the typeface, I'll be using poppins bold. So let me adjust this. So I just want to um, align this, uh, align this properly. Okay. So I think that's okay. Okay. So for my tracking, I'm using um, 200, I'm going to be making it all caps, and then for my typeface, I'll be using medium, and then I'm going to be using this, okay, and then I'm going to be moving this. So I'm not actually done with this design. I'm going to be adding some color effects to this building to make it look better. And then I'm going to be adding some color effects to the background too to actually make everything look very, very nice. So to do that quickly, I'll head over to my brush tool. And then um, I'm going to create a new layer above this and then I'm going to select um, a yellow color from my color picker. <laughs> okay, I think this is okay. And then I'm going to reduce my brush size and what I'll just want to do is just to um, add some light effects at this part of the building and then at this part of the building just I'm actually playing with this right here. Okay. So let me take this down above the house or land layer. And then what I want to do is I want to change the blend mode of this to screen. And then I'm going to just reduce it a little bit. Okay. So I don't want it to be too much and then any area I want to just adjust I think I'll be doing that with my eraser okay so I think this is looking okay for now Next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding um, some um, 
display effect around the flyer. So let me just do that quickly. Okay. So I'm going to take this up over all the layers and I'm going to create a new layer. So what I want to actually achieve is I want to change the color of this um, uh, of this image right here. So to do that, I'm going to create a new layer and um, then I'm going to select the exact color from this guy. Okay. And then let me hide this layer. And then in this new layer that I've created, I'm just going to fill it with the color that I selected from the sky. And then I'll head over to my blend mode. And for the blend mode, I'll be using color. And once I've got the color I want, I'm just going to select these two layers. And then I'm going to merge them together. And then for this new layer that I merged, so let me just call it an overlay layer. Okay. And then for the blending mode of this overlay layer, I'm going to be changing it to, to screen. And then I'm going to duplicate it. Okay. So as you can see, the design is actually looking nice. I think I've gotten what I wanted in this design. And I love the overall look of this design um, let me just group everything together and then name the individual groups so for this i'll be naming it overlay and then um, i'll be naming this top okay then um, okay let me leave this then let me just rename this Instagram Okay Okay and then uh, let me just uh, name this to right box So, so this to house. Oh. So guys, if you are an old member on this channel, I want to deeply express my appreciation to you guys for always liking, commenting, and sharing my videos with your friends. And if you are new to my channel, do well to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon to get notified each time I drop a new video. So guys, with all said and done, and without further ado, Mess Graphics out. See you guys in my next video.